Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the car. This time it's actually my car and not the rental that we had last week. So things are getting back to normal, which is nice. Uh, this week we are celebrating four years of Serenity OS. And uh, that's counting from the date of the first Git commit in the repository, which was on October 10th, 2018. So I've always thought of that as the project birthday. Um, and I'm a big enjoyer of traditions. And one of my favorite traditions is the yearly blog post uh, or the happy birthday Serenity OS post. Uh, so if you haven't seen this year's happy birthday post, it's linked in the video description. Check it out. Um, but I'm just super happy that we're still doing this and for four years now. And um, the project has come so far. I've come so far. Um, the people working on it, I feel like I feel like everybody who works on this project grows in one or more ways. Um, and it's just beautiful to see people improve their skills. Um, technical skills, social skills, all kinds of stuff, um, helping each other grow. And it's a beautiful thing to be a part of. And I'm, I'm really grateful um, that, that it can exist. And um, I guess today I wanted to talk a bit about um, the browser in Serenity OS and now also on other platforms. So I remember... Early on, um, in the early days of Serenity OS, uh, before there was any browser or HTML parser or anything like that, um, people asked me for some of my early car videos, they were asking me like, oh, are you going to build a browser? Um, and I remember saying no. <laughs> uh, and I think the reason I didn't want to build a browser back then was because I felt like I had worked on WebKit so much, or I worked on browsers so much in my life that I'm not sure I want to do it again. Like, I'm not sure I want to build another one. Uh, and it just seemed to me back then, like, there are so many other things that I don't know well enough. And I would like to learn more about kernels and file systems and uh, window management and um, text editing and whatever, like all kinds of um, different parts of desktop software that I wanted to learn more about and sort of figure out how to do. Uh, and I still enjoy all that. It's, it's uh, good fun. And I, and I'm going to continue working on all of those things, but, um, <laughs> as we know now, there's something in me that just enjoys working on browsers, I guess, because, um, despite my initial, hesitance, um, we did, did end up building a browser for Serenity OS. And um, it's funny now to look back on sort of the, the development of, of my motivation <laughs> for working on a browser. Um, like I was against it. And then uh, I think the very first thought I had towards a browser was well, we need to have some kind of a rich text um, display widget in Serenity, like some kind of rich text widget or control. Um, and since we need a rich text representation, I guess we can use HTML for that. Um, I, I think that's I think that's what the first commits um, in libweb or libhtml as it was called back then. I think that's what they were talking about. Like, oh, this is a rich text widget or something like that. Uh, but over time, of course, it, I don't know, there's something about when you start building something and you see it improve and you, you start to, to sort of extrapolate, wait a minute, like if I keep incrementally improving this thing at this rate that I'm going right now, um, a week from today, it might be able to do this other thing that's, that seems really far out now, but um, sort of this optimistic uh, extrapolation of, um, of progress can be motivating. At least it, I, think, I think it ended up working on me for this stuff because the more I worked on 
the web widget, uh, the more I felt like stuff was sort of um, getting within reach. Like, oh, well, like now that it supports attributes, maybe it can support like some basic CSS and maybe it can support some some basic this and that. And, and um, <laughs> it just uh, grew very organically. And I think more than anything, like I had some weird barrier to overcome where I had told myself that I didn't want to build a browser, but um, but my subconscious wanted to. And uh, it's funny because some of the, like in the beginning, it was very much ad hoc. It was I was not referencing the specs very much because I didn't intend consciously to build a browser. So a lot of the early parts of the web engine um, were like very um, ad hoc and kind of clumsy or um, simplistic. And <laughs> some of that still survives today. And we are, um, you know, we're, we're working on replacing much or most or all of that with more spec compliant stuff. But it's some of that early, not much, but like some of that early stuff is still there. And, um, but, but it's been an evolution, right? Because at first it was a rich text widget and then it became like, well, let's just do a, a simple, um, browser for Serenity OS, simple web widget, maybe, maybe a simple browser, but it, it doesn't have a JavaScript support. So it's not going to display the modern web, but we can use it for simple documents, um, but then at some point, <laughs> some point I thought, you know, why don't we build a JavaScript engine? I mean, how hard can it be, right? Because I never built a language uh, or a VM for a language before, but I had worked on WebKit a lot and WebKit had JavaScript core and I had done all kinds of work on JavaScript core, just never that initial bring up work, which... Um, I thought I could I could probably figure out how to bring something up. And um, the first iteration of LibJS was basically like me um, drawing JavaScript core from memory. <laughs> uh, that's sort of sort of what the architecture was. And I'm really glad that it's evolved past that, but um, it is it is funny. Uh, I guess that's something I used to, I used to feel almost guilty about that sometimes where I, I would feel like I'm leaning too much on, um, on s s my understanding of how something works based on, uh, some other thing, but, or wait, what am I trying to say? I guess I would sometimes feel guilty, like, oh, I'm just copying the JavaScript core architecture. Um, but it was really just a, a jumping off point or a place to get started and the architecture has changed quite substantially um since then and in a very interesting way that i'm really fond of which is we have this very specification driven architectural style in in libjs and in libweb as well um which i think more than anything was well i don't know I don't know exactly how it came about, but I, I feel like Linus, um, Linus had a very big influence on the whole thing happening because he always pushed for um, the spec comments. And um, we have this style where we just put spec comments everywhere so that you can easily reference uh, the spec inline while you're working on the code. And... Uh, that has turned into a style that I'm really fond of. And um, I'm obviously biased, but I, I do feel like our engine is by far the most pleasant uh, web engine code-wise. Now, it's not as mature as the other engines, but it is just so nice to navigate around the, um, the web and JavaScript engine in Serenity OS. And it's so easy. Like, if you know which part of the spec you're trying to uh, trying to work on or trying to improve, 
then it's so easy to follow and, and compare the spec versus the code. And it's it's beautiful. And, and it wasn't like that at all when I first wrote the initial thing. So it's all very, very much like proof of concept almost. And just me messing around. Um, and it's been so awesome to have so many people want to work on it together with me and improve it because... Um, because these things, these things are not really things that you build by yourself. Um, and I know that it's a, it's a popular meme on some websites that you can't possibly build a web browser, uh, which is obviously very silly and, and not true. Um, but people, people who know how browsers are made are not going to tell you that. But, um, but you need a lot of time and effort to build a browser and it is a very scalable thing and you you can you can uh, distribute that time and effort across multiple people and it's been really cool that so many people with no previous browser experience um have picked up the stuff in, in serenity and and like learned how to build browsers um by working on one and um, that's really sweet. I really enjoy that. I, I really like that there are all these young people in the Serenity project, um, who learn, learn how to build browsers and learn how to do it properly. Um, and I don't know, that's something that always makes me feel so wholesome and so happy that People are using Serenity OS to improve as engineers, improve, um, learn new skills, and um, and like tackle things that are very intimidating, I guess, or like conventionally intimidating stuff, like um, uh, like kernels and browsers and and uh, device drivers and JavaScript. Um, VMs and compilers as of recently. Um, so it's, I guess <laughs> I was just thinking, what is this video about? I guess it's just me talking about, um, the browser side of Serenity OS and, um, I'm really, really happy and excited that we now have sort of a, a frontier that is the cross-platform browser. Um, because previously, the browser that we were building, while it was making excellent progress, um, especially with, you know, so such a small team and, and like so little uh, resources, we were making like astonishing progress. But the the browser has always had always been um, confined to a single platform, right? It it would only run on Serenity OS. It was not compatible with any other system, and there was always that, like, well, we know that it could be ported to other systems because it's largely POSIX compatible. Um, but it wasn't until this year, um, when a bunch of people, and especially Dex, um actually did the work to to bring it up and make it compile on Linux. And once we had a build of the engine on Linux, it was just, you know, a sequence of steps from there until we had a GUI for it, until we had, um, like, uh, all kinds of things hooked up, like networking and, um, and windowing and, and stuff like that. And, um, now it feels like somehow it feels like this is exactly what uh <laughs> this is exactly what my subconscious wanted because my subconscious originally refused to make a browser it didn't want to because or or sorry um i didn't want to uh, make a browser consciously in the beginning but my subconscious wanted to um and over time my subconscious has just been sort of inching towards this thing where um where we now have a cross-platform browser project 
with a um, new engine, immature, but uh, very pleasant to work on engine. And um, it's, it's somehow it's like, I don't know, it's like my happy place or something uh, to, to work on browsers. It just makes me happy, I think. And um, there wasn't really a place uh, before where you could work on a, uh, on a browser in, in this way that we do in Serenity OS because um, all the major browser engines are like big, heavyweight, slow-moving projects compared to the, um, the nimble and flexible and, and rapid-moving uh, style we have in Serenity. And uh, the, the things that motivate um, a billion-dollar company to work on a browser don't necessarily motivate me. And I think I like the idea that the world has um has another browser and i don't know how long it will take us to make it um good enough even for like my own day-to-day uh, -day browsing needs but um, it seems silly not to try right because we already got so far with with our engine why not just um, why not just try and get as far as we can? Um, and uh, I don't know. I I never I never even really thought of this um, before, but I think I think maybe I set the whole thing up subconsciously, like the the whole Serenity project and everything so that I could eventually make a browser. Um, that may have been my subconscious plot all along. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> anyways, it's, uh, it's very enjoyable. Uh, and I'm very curious to see what we can do with it. Anyway, these were just some of my thoughts today. Um, and just, I guess my main thing I wanted to communicate is that I am very, very happy that we have a browser to hack on. It's very hackable. It's f f like um, fast to work on compared to all the other existing engines. Like this is so much smaller and simpler. Um, Less mature, yes, but also um, also rapidly improving. And I'm very, very happy with the way things are going with it. And I'm, I'm excited about the future, I guess. <laughs> Anyways. I think that's, that's all for today. So thank you for listening to me talk about um the serenity os browser stuff and um happy birthday again to serenity os and uh it's good to be back in the car uh, i am rusty with this format as you can tell um uh, kind of drifting in and out of of the ideas but um i'll 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 learn this i'll learn this so thank you for your patience and um if you have any questions or suggestions for car talk topics uh please leave a comment and uh, we will uh, get to those eventually. All right. See you next time. Bye.